concerns that Kenyans have there. I'll be challenging those uh, concerns to Frederick Riaga, my guest this morning. But before that happens, I want to bring in my colleague, Elvis Lagarde, who's joining us from Nakuru County. Elvis, good morning. So we've had the concerns of Kenyans here in Nairobi, of course, talking about the cost of leaving being too high, and they're hoping that there's going, there's going to be something uh, for the uh, Monanchi from that budget. Uh, what can you tell us from Nakuru with regard to uh, the concerns that the residents there have? Well, thank you, Betty. Uh, a lot of sentiments from 190 here in Nakuru is that this budget is really high. It's the biggest budget ever, 3.07 trillion shillings. And the concerns of the people here is would this uh, implicate more on having uh, them have to dig deeper in their pockets in terms of taxations, in terms of having to pay more uh, to acquire basic commodities, uh, petrol perhaps would be on the high. Now, we are expecting that when Treasury CS Henry Rotich would be tabling this budget before Parliament, many, many Kenyans, especially here in Nakuru, are presenting their, 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 their interests, rather, saying that... Um, uh, how is this going to implicate on Wanjiko, especially with the president having announced the Big Four agenda? Uh, they would like to see how this is going to play out. Uh, the county governments are going to receive 373 billion shillings in this uh, fiscal year of 2018-2019. And having sampled the voices and the sentiments of 190 today, allow me to just bring in... Um, Paul Masese, who is a director in enhancing and enforcing uh, governance here in Nakuru, to just share his sentiments, uh, especially as we expect the Treasury CS Henry Rotich to be tabling that uh, budget before uh, the parliament. So uh, thank you so much, Mr. Masese, for joining KTN uh, today. Would you just briefly tell us, um, just moving uh, slightly, tell us what are your expectations of this budget today, especially as someone who is more concerned with governance? Thank you so much. Indeed, as you put it, this is the largest budget in Kenyan history. And uh, it comes at a time when uh, our debt burden is the highest. I think it's only the other day when it became clear that government is grappling with how it's going to pay the debts it owes. So we, I expect uh, in today's budget to gain clarity in terms of how are we going to raise the money. Uh, how much is the deficit? Because looking at the trends, uh, our performance in terms of revenue raising has been uh, uh, dwindling. Over the years, we are seeing we are able to raise more uh, than we need. And so, therefore, we've had to depend heavily on borrowings, or on grants, and what have we. So one of the critical issues that uh, I would expect today's budget to address is how are we going to address the deficits so that then we are not of ambitious or uh, wanting to do a lot of things uh, within a year where we are uh, well aware that we do not have enough resources. Then the other bit is uh, the confusion that has been brought about uh, the Big Four agenda. You recollect that the Big Four came um, after the finalization of the medium term uh, plan. Uh, and um, uh, I have seen some level of attempt to align uh, the, uh, the priorities and MTP with the Big Four, uh, the big four agenda. But if you look keenly, uh, the Big Four man, uh, housing, food, security, food and nutritional security, uh, universal health care, most of these are devolved functions. But if you look at the, the kind of money being allocated to counties is well below the expected 15%. Indeed, you realize that we are talking about uh, 12%, 373 billion against 3.07 trillion is slightly, is around 12%. So, in my view, does not even meet the not more than, the not less than 15% threshold that should be allocated to counties. If the Pig 4 agenda C2R uh, related to the functions of the county government, one would have expected that uh, allocation to counties would have been increased. But you realize that it appears to be decreasing. So I would expect CS Rotich to give uh, justification. Why do we have less money going to counties, yet most of the government priorities uh, uh, speak to the functions of the county government. Now, it's five years since the inception of devolution, mm -hmm. and you would understand that, and even the president is on record saying that 
counties are uh, critical players in uh, you know, service delivery, especially to Wanjiko, at the grassroots level. For the first, uh, past five years, as uh, someone who is concerned with governance, mm. has counties been living up to expectations, uh, especially with regard now with the budget that is being tabled before parliament today? Uh, generally speaking, uh, the first five years uh, under the devol uh, devolved government uh, was characterized with a lot of try and error. Uh, it should be remembered that uh, we were quite ambitious. We devolved everything all in one go. Whereas it was expected that uh, we should have had uh, a process that allowed learning. Uh, the manner in which we devolved particularly some critical functions such as health left a lot to be desired. And that in a way became a bit overwhelming for county governments. How would you say that uh, various counties have uh, attempted to live to the dreams of devolution? We we'll see and there are counties like Makweni that have come up with very innovative ways of meeting people's needs. But generally speaking, we see a trend where counties are underperforming, particularly with regard to local revenue raising. We see every year county budgets are uh, increasing their targets in terms of the amount of money they're going to raise locally. But if you look at performance for the last five years, uh, many counties have not met uh, their local targets. So the reliance on national transfers has been on the increase. And so that has hindered the ability to uh, perform their functions and therefore meet the needs of the people. Of course, there's the big animal in the house, the, uh, corruption, uh, which I would say has been as well dis uh, devolved. You know, with all these scandals, you know, one is left wondering, really, in 2006, the then uh, chairperson of uh, Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission said we lost up to a third of our budgets to corruption. I guess that has increased since 2016. No, 2006, since 2016. So Thank you so much, Masese, for your sentiments. Our time is far much spent. That is Paul Masese, an expert in governance here in Nakuru, sharing his sentiments, uh, especially as now, uh, just a few minutes or a couple of minutes before uh, CS Rotish tables uh, the uh, budget 2018-2019 uh, budget before parliament. And counties now are a critical component, and his sentiment is that this might not be enough, again, raising issues that uh, there could be underperformance from counties. And these are some of the things that we would be following up to see what CS Rotich would be would have to say regarding this when he tables uh, the budget before parliament today. Back to you, Betty. All right, Elphis Lagat, that's quite a knowledgeable Kenyan, of course, just crunching the numbers there for us.